Hey guys, hope you're doing well today. Uh, just going to go over your grammar exercises very quickly so you can grade them and tell me how many you missed. A possible of 144 points today. So you've got a lot of points uh, possible today. So let's go through these real quickly before you take your grammar test. So exercise 139, capitalization. Number one, you should have capitalized Europe, Volga, Russia. Number two, you should have capitalized Mennonite, America, William, Rittenhouse. Number three, you should have capitalized University, Padua. Number four, you should have capitalized Renaissance, Copernicus, Polish. Number five, you should have capitalized Haverford, Public, Library, Swedish, RCA. All right? Exercise 140. Number one, you should have capitalized William, President, President. Number two, you should have capitalized in Julius Caesar. Number three, capitalize my business week, Newsweek, National Review. Number four, the Daniel Boone escorting settlers. Cumberland Gap, go west. Number five, you should have capitalized as I, Aunt Grace's, Martyrs, Mere, I. All right, turning the page, exercise 141. You should have capitalized number one, I, English, Algebra, German. Number two, you should have capitalized, O oh, Lord, thy. Number three, you should have capitalized our, they, they, and thou, O Lord. Because remember our rule, we capitalize the first letter in the first line of poetry. Number four, capitalize counterfeit points, right, Federal Reserve Bank, Boston, P.O. Box, Boston, Massachusetts. Number five, capitalize World Book Encyclopedia, United States Postal Service. Number six, capitalize National Gallery, Art, Washington, D.C., Rembrandt's Judas Returning, 30 Pieces Silver, My Jenna I. Okay. Number seven, capitalize German, Poland, September, World War. Number eight, capitalize Atlantic, Intracoastal, Waterway, Atlantic, Ocean, Boston, Key West. All right. Exercise 142, reviewing agreement and usage. Number one, instead of deliciously, it should just be delicious. Number two should say, after I had thought about it some more, I decided to let the application lie unmailed, not lay. So two things in that one. Number three, which sonnets by William Shakespeare has... James memorized. Number four, you should have changed were to was. Number five, everyone who has not had, instead of there, it should say his measles shot because everyone is singular. So you need the singular there. His measles should get immediately measles is too serious, not are. Number six, all the kindergarten children were lying down to take a nap. He's stretching out on his final mat because each is singular, so we need to agree his. Number seven, has should be have. Number eight, neither the shoes nor the coat has, because remember rem our rule of neither nor agree with the closest one. Has, both of the boxes are still sitting, not setting. Number nine, after the historic bell had been rung for the last time, some men climbed up the steeple and took it to the museum. Number 10, if I were three inches taller, we need the subjunctive mood there. If I were three inches taller, so cross out more, my brother and I would look identical. Number 11, I appreciate your helping Hannah, possessive before a gerund, and me with our assignment, not Hannah and I. Anna and me, objective case. The finalists in the contest were they and I. We need nominative case, predicate nominative. Number 13, the man whom I talked to wanted to know if the price of the ham was higher than the price of steak. Okay, so make sure you complete that comparison there. Number 14, sit down and tell Andrea and me about your trip. Number 15, the man sitting across from me raised his hand and looked as though he were about to speak. Subjunctive case there again. Number 16, I do not appreciate your 
lying around, I can hardly study in here. So 31 points possible there. Then the last one, exercise 143. Number one, Megan can read more rapidly than any other student in the class. Number two, this house is certainly the largest one I have ever seen or the largest house I have seen. Okay, and cross out most. Number three, the fresh sunwarm peaches looked luscious, not lusciously. Number four, Mr. Eberly's basement is smaller than his brother's possessive, or if you even completed it and said his brother's basement, that's fine too. Number five, the archaeologist analyzed the two parchments carefully to determine which was older. Cross out the more, okay? So send me a message or give me a comment. Let me know how many you missed on those exercises and then take your grammar test.